Okay, something else has been happening too about the definitions of death, particularly the brain death definitions. Uh, besides the Jahai McMath case, which we've already been looking at, where uh, Jahai's family disagreed with the doctors over whether Jahai was dead or not, which again sounds like a fairly weird kind of disagreement. It's like disagreement about the score of a baseball game or the length of a wall. I mean, it seems like a fact. Either you're dead or you're not. It doesn't seem to be a, a, a moral question about how should I um, how should I best act in this situation? What are my obligations and what do they require of me? Um, but there, this is not the only case. It's not an isolated case. So here's just a couple other examples. Um, but there's many. You could do a search on this. So um, these are situations where people are declared brain dead and the parents disagree. Um, it's not just simply parents. It could be spouses. It could be other sorts of um, surrogates. Okay, And they cite different sorts of things, religious beliefs like Jahai McMask mom or observations that they interpret as signs of life. And what are we supposed to make out of these sorts of disagreements? They don't seem to be the same as the dispute over brain death that we just looked at. Okay, um, This patient point of view is often supported by the media. So here's a couple headlines about these cases that seem to suggest that the patient parents are right. Somebody can't fight them to the end if they're already dead, okay? And the family can't be shocked about removing a brain dead boy from life support if the brain dead boy is already dead. So they, they, they seem to support the parents here that brain death is not death. So how should we think about this and, and what's going on here that makes sense out of this disagreement? Well, one way to explain what's going on is to, is to see that maybe what we've got here is different categories of definition. And the two that I think are most important are biological definitions and sociological definitions. So um, we can have a biological definition of death. Is what is death from a biological point of view? Um, cessation of the brain would be one example, the accepted example, at least by the majority of people, um, majority of doctors, do scientists, and um, professionals. And then we can have sociological definitions. What is death in our culture? What is death from a cultural or social point of view? Um, is this, this is actually kind of problematic, too, because this suggests that uh, you can have different people who would be dead in one culture but not another. Um, you want your sociological definitions to kind of, kind of follow along or to mimic the biological definitions. You want death to be something that happens to everybody in the same way. At least that would be a preference. So what to do about this? Well, it might depend a lot on what you interpret to be the problem. Has the social, social definition of death just not caught up with the developing biological view? That seems might be hard to believe right now. It's been almost 50 years since brain death was developed, but perhaps these things take longer than that. Or is a different sociological definition, is the sociological definition of death developing along a different course? So is this a matter of waiting? Um, and how long should we wait and what can we do? Or is this a matter of redirecting something? Okay. The um, article that we talked about previously, Hart Kaplan's article, Stop Using uh, Brain Death, seems, you know, I don't know what, what he's thinking here. Is, is um, there seemed to be something wrong, um, but he wants to um, stop the use of the word in order to help it along. So the moral issue here, so disagreements by parents is not a moral issue, okay? Not it's not straightforwardly a moral issue. The moral issue is what to do about this situation. And here I'm putting it back onto your, uh, onto your view. What do you think should be done about this situation? Um, if this is going on, is it just is it anomalies? Should we just ignore it, uh, let it work itself out? Should we do something like Kaplan suggests, stop using um, uh, brain death, stop using that term? Uh, does there need to be more communication, more um, education of people? Is that the problem here? Um, what 
is the sort of moral response to this um, gap between the sociological and the biological definitions, if you think I'm right about how to understand this situation. So I guess here's my, my conclusion. We can have different views about how best to deal with this disagreement, but we shouldn't have different moral views about what the definition of death is. That just doesn't make sense as a moral question.